How are photons affected by gravity? In this British Physics Olympiad Senior Physics Challenge, we're going to be actually exploring general relativity. Imagine that we take a small mass and then we drop it. As the mass is dropping, it is actually gaining kinetic energy. In theory, once it reaches the ground, all of that energy could be converted back into photons and then reflected back upwards. The photons of that frequency could then be converted back to the mass. Explain using the concept of energy conservation why this process indicates that photons must be affected by gravity. So as our light object is falling, it's gaining kinetic energy, so that means that at the moment before it hits the ground, it will have gained more energy than it started off with. All this energy could then be reflected back upwards, and then if the photons were not affected by gravity, we could end up with more energy that we started off with at the top. So rather than just this small mass, we could suddenly end up with a much larger mass after reflection. Oh wait, look, it's a physics book. For the next part of the problem, we can look at this mathematically using some classical approximations because remember, this is actually a school exam that is taken by 16 year old students. So a photon of a given frequency is emitted from a satellite towards the ground. We're given the frequency of the photon and the height, assume that the acceleration due to gravity is constant and we can ignore the motion between between the satellite and the ground. You can get this result just by assuming that the photon has some fictitious mass that I've just called m gamma in the question. What we want to do is find the change of frequency of that photon. The best way to start this question is by looking at the fact that the energy of the photon on the ground will be the sum of the original energy that it had up high up in the satellite plus the potential energy. And in this case, we can just assume that this is equal to m gamma, where this fictitious mass multiplied by g multiplied by the height h. In quantum physics, the energy of an individual photon is given by h times by the frequency. Please note that the last term in this equation comes from e is equal to mc squared and using the fictitious mass, rearranging for it, we get that it's equal to e over c squared. If the energy of a photon is hf, then the fictitious mass will be equal to the energy hf divided by c squared. So if the photon has changed its energy close to the ground, this means that its frequency must have changed. This will be equal to the sum of hf, which is the frequency high up in the satellite, plus the fictitious mass times by g times by the height. And now we can do one of my favorite things in physics equation, that is to cancel things out so we can get rid of Planck's constant h. And look at this, we can directly find the change in frequency by rearranging the terms. We get that the frequency on the ground level take away the frequency of the satellite, which is actually our delta f is equal to this expression. Well, in this problem, we know what the original frequency is, we know what g is, we know what the height is and the speed of light. So we can calculate the change change of frequency to be 20,601 hertz. Please know that this is actually a tiny value compared to the original frequency of the photon. If you're preparing for the British Physics Olympiad Senior Challenge, you absolutely need to have a look at this next video, which is full of helpful tips and really help you right over here.